I hope hello everyone welcome to a new episode of let's play forge so let us begin uh yeah let, uh, let us begin so last time we kind of lost due to an embarrassing uh, decision on my end to not mulligan when i should have mulliganed and that's uh, that still annoys me even to this day i should have summoned uh, Scribe sprites actually right there So he summoned marauding bone slasher, which is a free slash free zombie minotaur creature which has marauding a bone slasher Can't block unless you control another zombie Okay So let's summon a Brazilian camera in the meantime And add the uh, because I summon a Brazilian Kenra, I'm, I'm, I, I get to choose to pick a creature on my side of the field to get plus two plus two. So I will pick Scrib Sprites for that. And now I will use Scrib Sprites to attack him. So he's attacking me with, with Marauding a Bone Slasher, which is annoying. And he also summoned Amit Eternal, which is a creature, which is a a uh, 5 slash 5 zombie crocodile demon creature which has a flicked free which means whenever this creature becomes blocked defending player loses free life and whenever an opponent casts a spell put a minus 1 minus 1 counter on Amit Eternal whenever Amit Eternal deals combat damage to a player remove all minus 1 minus 1 counters from it okay so let's do Bitter Blade, let's summon Bitter Blade Warrior. This should put a minus one minus one counter on Amit Eternal. Now let's. Uh, can we do anything else? I don't think we can do anything else. So let's uh, end our turn. He's attacking me with both. So let's. Uh, let's block. Uh, yeah, let's block Amit Eternal with both Resilient Kenra and Bitter Blade Warrior. Just to remove it. So he cast Visage of Bolas, which is an artifact. And what this does is when Visage of Bolas enters the battlefield, you may search your library and or graveyard for a card named Nicol Bolas, the Deceiver, reveal it and put it into your hand. If you search your library this way, you shuffle it. So basically it's a searcher card for a specific creature. That's annoying. Hmm, let's cast Cartouche of Strength on Scrib Sprites. And let's... Uh, let's attack him with Scrib Sprites. What did he just do? He cast the final reward to... To remove... Exile my Scrib Sprites from the field. Which really fucking pisses me off. So right now I'm out of creatures on the field. I don't have ma the mana necessary to do anything anymore, but let's, uh... yeah, I think I'm pretty much dead. I am just dead. Let's summon uh, Chef and Monitor, but I don't think that's going to do me much good. Yeah, he's going to attack me with both creatures and now I, I, I just cannot defend myself. So we lost this game. That was embarrassing. Let's, let's do this again. Yeah, I will keep my hand. What really fucked me the previous game was the fact that he... He had such good cards, I guess. And that really uh, messed me up big time. Okay, let's summon Thriving Rhino. Let's attack him with uh, Feral Prowler. He summoned Kenra Eternal, which is a 2 slash 2 uh, zombie jackal warrior creature with afflict 1. Okay. Let's. Uh, let's uh, uh, attach a Cartouche of Strength to Thriving Rhino. Just to give it an extra boost. And now... Sure, let's use it. 
And now let's alpha strike him. So whenever thriving rhino attacks you may pay 2 energy, if you do put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it, that's cool. So he summoned wasp of the bitter end which is a flying 2 slash 1 insect horror creature which has whenever you cast a bolas planeswalker spell you may sacrifice wasp of the bitter end if you do destroy target creature okay let's cast uh, Im no we cannot cast image and growth because we do not have the mana let's uh, instead cast ronas the indominatable and now let's attack him with actually let's attack him with everything with wait why why can't why, why couldn't couldn't I attack him? Also, what did he just do? He cast final reward to exile my uh Rona's the Indominatable. Okay, let's cast Emergent Growth on Thriving Rhino. And let's just alpha strike him. So he's uh, running low on uh, power, which is Quite great for me. Let's alpha strike him. He will have to block both of my creatures. So he only has one. Uh, actually, let's use ambuscade to uh, use our thriving rhino to attack his eternal of harsh truths. Okay, so let's uh, let's uh, alpha strike him. He will have to block us, but we still defeat him. Okay, so that was nice. We won a game, which was about fucking time, if you ask me. Let's put down a forest card. He summoned Kenra Eternal again. Let's put down another forest card. He's going to attack me with Kenra Eternal. We're almost to the point in which we can summon Giant Spider. Now we can summon Giant Spider. Okay. So now we can block his attacks, more or less anyway. Hmm. Let's cast Cartouche of Strength on, Gi on Giant Spider and let's use it to kill his Zealot of God Pharaoh. Excellent. That was worth it. Now let's summon... Uh, let's summon Honor the Hydra. This will be quite in, an intense battle. He summoned Manticore Eternal, which is a 5 slash 4 zombie Manticore creature with a fleet free and also has Manticore Eternal attacks each combat if able. That's annoying. So let's summon Ron as the Indominatable. And also let's use Ambuscade to this. Uh, actually, do we need to use Ambuscade? I really don't think that we do. But let's just use it to get rid of Mantic. Actually, no, let's not use Ambuscade. Let's leave it at that. Yeah, let's end our turn. So he will attack us with Manticore Eternal because it's stipulated in under cards effects that it has to attack any every time it it is able to. So now we can block it with uh, Honored Hydra. He casts Supernatural Stamina to give Manticore Eternal plus 2 plus 0 until the end of turn. Well, we can cla ca also cast Blinding Fog in response to that so that we can make all our creatures invincible. So now that worked, he cast the Throne of the God Pharaoh, which is a legendary artifact which has at the beginning of your end step, each opponent loses life equal to the number of tapped creatures you control. That's fucking terrible. Okay, let's summon Scaled Behemoth now. 
yeah we have a nice selection of cards yeah let's uh, let's attack him with uh, honored hydra that would be a nice beginning so he has to attack us with manticore eternal i will block him with uh, with skill behemoth just because i can now how are we going to do this he has a lot of creatures but uh, I think we can make this work. Let's give one of our creatures plus one plus one. Let's give it to Honor Hydra. We get an, uh, another forest in return. So let's attack him with Honor Hydra. And we skilled Behemoth. So he blo he blocks uh, he blocks skill Behemoth with Kenra Eternal, which won't do him much good. He summoned Visage of Bolas again, so he basically searched out his deck for Nicole Bolas the Deceiver, but I don't think that's going to do him much good at this point in time. We have a lot of mana, we can afford to start destroying him, so let's just Alpha Strike him. He will block all of our attacks with all of his creatures, but that that's just going to wipe out his deck. We will allow us to wipe out his side of the field. Now he's kind of in a really tough spot because he only has one creature left. Because he blocked all of our uh, attacks with all his creatures. And he, and all of his creatures were weaker than mine. So they got, just got uh, decimated. So now he only has one creature left. With only two life points. Yeah, he's in a very tough spot. He summoned Wasp, Wasp of the Bitter End again. But that just won't do him much good at all. We will Alpha Strike him again and this is basically the end. It's victory for us. Yeah, so we won fucking finally. Let's grab something from Ammo Kid Remastered. We get Visage of Bolas, which was one of his cards. Uh, coincidentally enough. Okay, so that was a nice, uh, nice fun... Uh, uh, dual. Let's add some more cards to our deck because when we only have a 57 right now. Let's add more giant spiders actually. So the more giant spiders we have the better it's gonna be. We already reached the maximum four copies of giant spider per deck. So we can't add another one. And we're only at 55 cards, so let's find another card for us to summon. Let's, since it's a green deck, let's filter out all the other colors. Hmm. And let's, uh, I don't know, find another creature with a lot of power. Let's go with that. Yeah, let's add another Greater Sandworm. Oh no, let's add the Sifter Sandworm to our deck. There we go. So now we're at 60 cards again. And this has been it. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time.